What's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. And we're back in Seward, Alaska. You can tell, like, it's really gloomy. There's a lot of clouds around. And I'm wearing a pair of sunglasses. The reason is, this is a little freshwater creek that's running out into Resurrection Bay. And I'm looking for king salmon. Now, I have absolutely zero experience with this. But I'm done halibut fishing. And now it's time to start doing something new. We've already been cruising in the car all up into the mountains and we found some river systems that were loaded with red salmon or sockeye salmon. But I really got my sights set on a big king salmon. Now, these guys down here are sight casting. You can, you can tell, like, they're pros. They're not just casting trying to snag one. They're looking for a specific fish. They're gonna pitch their snatch hook and try to hook them in the side. I, I don't know anybody around here, so I'm just kind of just trying to fit in, you know what I'm saying? And anytime you go to a new location, big fish, man. Awesome, I'll get it your way. Dude, that's a beautiful fish. Yeah! How freaking awesome is that? Now, that's what I'm talking about. We're right here in sewer, just cruising around, and uh, the salmon run is going on. Well, these fish, once they come from the ocean and start heading up the freshwater streams, they're done eating. All they're thinking about is finishing their life, and that is spawning. These are local guys. Congratulations, man, nice fish. Can I get a shout out to myself? Absolutely. What's your name? My name's Gabe. I'm Gabe? Gabe. My little brother's name, Gabe. Blue Gabe, what's up? Where are you from? Uh, here. I'm uh, the owner of First Cast Fishing. Dedicated my life to this about 2008. And uh, I just pick and choose the fish. I wait until I see them. And then I snag them. Yeah, keep your pole tip up. Don't point your pole at it. Hey, just take your time. Don't get it against the rocks. Hold on, now we're not out of the water yet here. <laughs> All right, you guys, so here's the scoop. We got a little bit of change of scenery. We just headed back up here to Anchorage. What's your name? Jake. It's Jake. When we were on our way, my buddy Chance Miller, who owns Miller's Landing, was like, look, call the guys at the bait shack on the ditch. They've got some kind of tournament going on. He's going to tell you all about it. I brought my fishing pole, but more importantly, I got the camera. Austin's at the house right now. He's feeling a little rough. He's been working really hard. So I'm filming by myself, and it's just me and you. These are big fish down here. Our average fish is about 16 to 23 pounds. What happens is these fish come in on the tide. Here in Alaska, we have four tides in a day. Two high tides, two low tides. They turn every six hours. So if you look down here, this water is going to start slacking off as these fish get to us. What we like to do is we fish king salmon off the bottom. We're using a big heavy weight on a sinker slide down to our leader. And these are spinning glows or what these are, okay? Some people call them bobber with wings. We run salmon eggs right there under it. A little dirty right now because it's muddy down at Ship Creek, but these keep your eggs afloat up about a foot to two feet off the ground in the water. So one of the real beauties of what I get to do, I get to travel all over the world and hunt and fish, and I meet these hidden gems like Jake. Dustin, the man who owns the bait shack, from what I'm told, is like a bronze star winner. Straight up military man, got a purple heart solid American hero and anytime I can come be a part of something that that he's putting on hey I'm all about that I really don't care if I catch a fish but I want to see one of these anglers one of these guys here catch a big king salmon out of Ship Creek in downtown Anchorage Alaska see we've even got an audience see them ducks 
I guarantee you that mallard duck right there wants to see somebody catch fish. Oh, this guy's hooked up right here. Oh, that's a monster. Oh, it's a giant. It's a monster. Oh my. And no, it will it can fit. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, Hannah. Get it. Get it. Go, bro. Just take your time. You got him where you want him. Holy crap, that's good. Boys, are y'all ready to be on YouTube or what? Yeah. What? <laughs> What's up? Here you go, here you go. Come on, Kenneth. Grab that. Grab that puppy. Right there. Grab it. Get it, get it, get it. Look at this. Right there. Right there. Yeah, yeah baby! <laughs> That's a monster! That's a monster! Oh my god, that lit! Yeah, that is sick, dude. Nice fish! Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> man. Holy dude, this is gonna jump out. Is that your first king salmon? First one. No way! Yeah, first ever. So are you in the military or are you just no, down here with your we're boys? Just here vacationing. From where? Utah. They're from Utah, they're on vacation. And they just caught their first king salmon. That is so awesome, bro. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, boys. There you go. Yeah. There you go. We've been wanting you to catch one all day, and you got him on. Oh. He was on. Yeah. What's your boy's name? Evan. Evan? <laughs> Evan, your mom says you're a huge fan. Appreciate it. Listen, you guys, we're getting ready to leave Sheep Creek, or Ship Creek. And then we are headed back over to Seward. We're gonna flay up some fish, and then we're gonna be cooking. It's a crazy show. I'm glad you're a part of it. The man, the myth, the legend. It is Chance Miller. You guys, I just want you to look around at this. Like, in 360 degrees, this place is what you dream about. Like, when you think of just epic winter wonderland with spring conditions, that is where we are. Hello, hello. If you guys come up here and you're halibut fishing or offshore fishing with Miller's Landing, and you have some time on your hand, this cat right here, no joking around. I call you an osprey. See, he just looks. He looks like an eagle. He just sits there with his shades on, staring at the water, and then catches the fish. It's pretty awesome. Well, um, we're gonna try to butterfly these salmon. I haven't fleeted a salmon in uh, about a year. So hopefully I remember how to do it. Now, do you see a difference in the way that silver stag cuts? It's um, it's much, much sharper on the tip end than mine is. It's a lady. Look how beautiful that meat is. The common theory, these fish, when they're in their adolescent age, feed almost primarily on krill. And krill give them that beautiful red color in their meat. Once they are in about the last year of their life, they start feeding on herring. And that builds up a fat content in them. And that gives them the energy that they use to head up the river and do their spawning cycle. It's amazing how these fish literally consume their own body while heading upstream to, con to, to spawn. The life cycle of these fish is really, really amazing. They start out in a pond, they come down the stream, they go out to the open ocean, sometimes traveling thousands of miles, only to return to the exact same spot, knowing that it's a death march. When they hit that fresh water and go upstream, their only focus is to drop their eggs and repeat that process. 
Just came over here. This is called Jadoc Seafood. It's right here in the harbor in downtown Seward and they do custom packing. This is Mr. David. He's from North Carolina. He's up here working for the summer and he's going to show us how they vacuum seal this so that we can get it home. They actually ship fish all over the world. So pretty much we're getting it ready to eat. Uh, butterfly it. That'll be one vacuum pack. This uh, is like the Mac Daddy of all vacuum sealers. Mac Daddy. For sure. So just put it in there, crank it up. Dude, we finished product. That's yeah. like heavy duty. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, it's nine mil. You know, a lot of places use three or four mil or nine mil bags and they're good. I mean, we tell people two years, but if it's sitting around for four or so, it's still pretty good. Wow, man, so, that yeah. is so cool. Hey, thank you so much yeah, for showing us this. This is J Doc Seafood here in Seward, Alaska, and uh, they do it right. Check it out. Now, that is all of our fish that you just watched us clean. We dropped it off. It's all packaged, ready to go. Hey, that's all she wrote. Hey, there's Miss Kristen. This is the owner of the shop right here. Oh. Y'all do it right. You got some really great guys oh. working for you. Thanks. So hey, if you guys find yourself in Seward, Alaska and you catch a bunch of fish, J-Doc will process it and get it ready for you to take home. Thanks. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Thanks, guys. Yo, this is actually our travel day. We are flying back to West Palm Beach International Airport today. But first, we came over here to return the car to the best ENT surgeon in all of Alaska. This is Dr. Kevin Jensen. We're here in Wasilla. And they invited us out for a, a casual lunch. How many kids do you have? Six. He's got six beautiful children. Last, We've got two. Last we checked, it was six. <laughs> <laughs> last we checked, well, they've obviously figured out how to make them. You have like a zip line, climbing rock. You've got like the most beautiful home I've ever seen to raise a family in. Thank you. Sincere. When we put it on Facebook that we needed help, you immediately reached out and you helped us. And using your car, driving, Having this family vacation was was uh, something I'll never ever forget. I will never be able to repay you. And uh, I obviously would like to invite you and your family down to Florida, come do whatever you would want. Um, and everybody, I'm telling you right now, being like this is such a wonderful way to be. Um, I can only imagine you being a surgeon. You must be very, very caring and very good at what you do. Oh, and by the way, can't help but to notice Mr. Jensen, Dr. Jensen here, has his own Silver Stag bone and filet. Okay, so how many Deer Meat for Dinner fans out there? Open up your cupboard and there's Everglades. This is not planned, but I was like, oh, well, he's got a Silver Stag and, and Everglades seasoning. You know he is a true Deer, deer Meat for Dinner fan. We're just going to go easy, put a little original on that puppy. Take just a little bit of olive oil here. A little bit of butter. We're gonna take some purple cabbage. A little bit of cilantro. Some tomatoes. And some lime. We're gonna let that start coming to life. A little bit of Himalayan pink sea salt. And this is just stuff that I'm finding around. It's like, imagine being an artist and you're looking for paint. These are just ingredients that I use similar to paint. Now we want to lower this heat. Our herbs have added all that flavor to our, to our butter and we will just lay this fish right in here. Mm. Back on the heat. 
Now you're gonna start getting all those wonderful aromatic flavors of the herbs, of the tomato, cabbage, cilantro. And we're gonna let that slowly cook. Looking good. Look at that. This is garlic. I'm adding it last because I didn't want it to burn. I'm just, I just wanted to add some nice flavor. Now, we'll just scoop up some of this, put it right on top of there. You might be asking yourself, with all these people running around, why do you only cook one flight? Oh, because Dr. Jensen has already made this love and goodness. Check that out. That's baked halibut with a mojito lime seasoning. And I've already tasted it. It's amazing. You don't want to let any of that love go to waste. Oh, yes. Our dear Heavenly Father, we're so grateful for the opportunity to meet together here with the Arrington family in Austin. And we're grateful for taking this food. We're grateful for this bounty. Please bless it that may give us nourishment and strength which our bodies need. And we pray for these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you everybody for letting us in your home and giving Thanks us this wonderful lunch. <laughs> what do you say? Hi. Hi. Your tortilla? <laughs> you gotta get that tortilla. Do you call them tortillas? This has been amazing. Um, what do you guys think? Any good? Amazing. Yeah. Pretty good? Very good. All right. Hey, if you live in the Wasilla area and you need yourself a fantastic ENT, go check out Dr. Jensen. His, uh, the links will be in the description below. This guy's awesome. He's got a wonderful family. You can tell a lot about a person if you just look at their family. You're blessed, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, everybody out there, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you want to do a trip like this, there will be links in the description below to everything that you've seen. This has been a dream. This has been a trip of a lifetime. Thanks for making it possible. But that's all I got for today. Take care. Okay, I got one more thing. I always give my hat to the most special person of the trip. And that's the hat I've worn all week. Come with a signature? Of course I will. You guys, I love you and I'm gone. Why weren't you playing like the entire time we were here? Fully mind blown. Now her dad's getting ready to go look in my nose. <laughs> <laughs>